take us to the burnt village, so we just have to continue there and then take the turn. Save. Okay, then the lion. Is it midnight enough? Can we go? I can't wait to meet this monstrous beauty. Her beauty's killed several men. Now you tell me. Like my friend Dandelion says, we all have to die of something. I'll have my eye on you at all times. So will she. Don't let her kiss you. I don't usually deny women foreplay, but I'll do my best. Let's do this. <clears throat> well, well, how should we begin? Okay, they were in the book. It's good that I read it. If you wish, my love, at my side to repose. My heart would inquire of your hands pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No, that didn't come out right. Oh. If you wish, my love, at my side to repose. My heart would inquire of your hands pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or grasp me elsewhere and leave me satisfied. No, that didn't come out right. Oh, it was, uh, okay. If you wish, my love, at my side to repose. We'd admire our virtues, me yours and you mine. I could pet your cheeks. You might twiddle my nose. Oh, no, or, is... or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No, that didn't come out right. Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, okay. If our bodies could a song compose, my heart would inquire of your hands pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Uh, I don't know. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. <laughs> Who are you, gorgeous one? I'm a poet, milady. I've come to praise your unearthly beauty, if you'll do me the honor of revealing your full self. Indeed. I shall reveal to you all my splendors. Prepare more than your eyes. I am a feast for all the senses. Come with me for the adventure of your life, fair poet. I should get Geralt. On the other hand, I've never plowed a succubus. I am so unsatisfied. Lovers who compose poems praising my virtues. Uh, Delightful. But I've never had a true poet perform for me. Are you coming, Geralt? Do I really need to go get Geralt? Oh, this... <laughs> uh, hmm. Dandelion. Blowing a succubus? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, d I can't resist. Fucking idiot actually went in. I got him into this mess. I'd better get the fool out.
It actually went in. Yes, it did. <laughs> and get out. Don't call me an idiot. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't remember inviting you, Geralt of Rivia. Let Dandelion go. <laughs> you mean you won't join us? He's come to no harm. On the contrary, he seems very happy. Like all the other men you murdered? I've murdered no one. All who followed me experienced unearthly pleasures. You devour their energy like a swine gobbles spuds. I need their vital energies. I have no use for corpses. What will you do with Dandelion? I shall show you my intentions are pure. I'll release him when he wakes. Hmm? Hmm. So if it wasn't you, who killed those young men? I can seduce anyone and hold them spellbound for as long as I wish. Unfortunately, one fool fell madly in love with me. Unable to accept my nature, he's killing my lovers. Okay, let's play along. Who is this lover of yours? A beautiful elf named Elias. He asked me to investigate the murders. His way of throwing you off his scent. Luckily, you're no fool. The very reason I think you're trying to throw me off your scent. Did he show you the victims' bodies? He told me they were buried. <laughs> By him. Yet he massacred the corpses first to make it seem as if beasts had attacked the poor souls. I'm content to have you looking into the matter. Just be sure to see it through. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting, interesting option. Why should I help you? I want men to know that I give pleasure in return for their energy. But I don't take their lives. Hmm. Besides, I can give you something far better than Orens. Hmm. Okay, just, uh, just don't kill Dandelion, okay? I'll talk to him, then I'll come back. I hope we can seal our friendship then. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. The book to which I found had been stolen from me some time before. Needless to say, I was glad to recover it. This clue suggested that. Succubus was an avid fan of poetry, thus I had no choice but to return to the village the Lord's Beast out with some moving lyrics. As many an epic Roman states, and as Geralt as reassured me, Succubi are nocturnal creatures, so the Witcher and I agreed to meet at midnight. The succubus literally ate out of my hand, such was the power of my poetry. With my aid, the witcher could speak with the demon. According to the beast, the murderer was the elf Elias, and jealous, a jealous lover, for you must know that the succubus had many lovers, all the murder victims among them. Geralt listened to her testimony and went to speak to the elf. If we are... Uh, oh, what is that? If we assume that, uh... Damn, you're ugly. That, uh, Dandelion is the one writing the journal. 
Uh, he can't die, right? I still fondly remember it. <laughs> Fight at the asylum. With the raids. Holy hell. Oh, those were the days. But don't get yourself killed, Geralt. Elias will deny it, but uh, probably to Elias, Geralt can use some... Uh, use some Witcher magic in the form of Axie sign and pull the information out of him. That way uh, Geralt will know if it's the truth. I found the succubus. Did you kill her? She claims you're the murderer. You were supposed to kill the monster, not chat with it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so, not if you believed her. You lied to me. You knew a succubus had made its lair in the burned down village. I did. I thought you'd refuse to help me if I told you. You're right. I don't help murderers. That is pure nonsense. I killed no one. Uh. Oh. Why can't I use them? kinds of markings all kinds of markings on the bodies the succubus wouldn't wouldn't suck the blood out of them would, would she? and all those claw markings on the bodies maybe maybe Elias did try to frame it liar you fell in love with her and murdered your competitors. Succubi aren't exactly the most faithful partners. True, I love her, but the rest is hogwash. If I'd killed the succubus, no more men would have perished and you'd have gotten away with it. You don't understand. She manipulated me like she's manipulating you. Jorvith will learn of this. You'll hang for your crimes. You're mad. I'm innocent. Oh man, this is...
so out of hand. Obviously, Elias protested his innocence, and to be honest, Geralt and I had no evidence to prove either his or the succubus' guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. The word of a monster against the word of a bandit. The decision was hard indeed. Geralt based on his professional knowledge, concluded that the succubus had killed the men. So would Elias be such a... To be such a... Killed in uh, in framing framing the succubus that he could fool a witcher. But then on the other hand, Elias wanted to hire someone to solve the murders. He knew the succubus was doing. Or. He wanted to hire someone to find out all the clues he had left. And of course the bodies smelled of s smelled of uh, sulfur because they they've been with the succubus. But how how would <laughs> how would Elias train the how would Elias train the bodies in the way they were trained? Yeah, I'm starting to starting to lean towards the succubus being the one who did it. After all, I'm uh, I'm very disappointed that uh, that there was no persuasion option, no axi sign option to use on the elf. Like they don't work on the elves, is that it? Because that would that would give the Wait a minute, maybe they don't work in that way that tell the truth. They they can force an action, but they can't be forced to use as question. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Decision was hard indeed. Yes, yes, Dandelion, you wrote it well, you wrote it well. Hmm, what will I do? As I said, I uh, the only only thing I can't wrap my head around is how how El Elias would how he'd be able to frame the body in that way, or you know, frame the succubus by uh, doing all those things to the bodies, including sucking basically sucking the blood out of it. That that makes me think it's the succubus. But uh, apart from that, it's uh, this uh, just uh, just the elf's word against the uh, against the demon. What to do? What to do? I do admit, <laughs> of course, there is a there is the matter of thinking about the reward at hand and. Uh, Again, I don't deny I'm uh, I'm thinking about 
thinking about if uh, if Geralt wants to have sex with the succubus or not. Don't try anything. So with that uh, reward in mind, uh, we could just uh, <laughs> just accuse Elias of the murders. Uh, yeah, this is a. Uh, this is done in a way that we won't know what uh, what the right right choice is. So um, I will choose the leader, though clad like a soldier, to believe had a feminine face to succubus. stir all, and the breast ah. A maiden I saw. The let's Virgin first, of Eden. Let's first check the journal. Is there? Do I have information about uh, about the succubus? The torched village near Vergen proved to be home of the real succubus. This beautiful creature, possessing hoofs instead of feet, drew handsome young men to it in order to seduce them and feed on their life forces. The seductress was accused of brutally murdering many young men, and the accusation seemed to be solid. For you must know that the unpleasant scent of sulfur is not the sole inconvenience one must endure when encountering succubi, which can be as dangerous as vampires. Hmm, but the life force... Life force can be a... Uh, if we believe Insurgent. the succubus, indeed the uh, life force, uh, the succubus needs it. Uh, I don't know. The right, right choice. Mm, probably, uh, probably a uh, siding, siding with Elias, but. Uh, I said uh, for uh, me as a player, uh, selfish reasons, I will uh, I will side with the succubi. Greetings, Gwynblade. Your Scoyatel, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. Hmm. No. Come back when you have some. Uh, what? Uh, so For I need battle to... prepared in their races just cause their aim. So I need to need to just accuse Elias here. Accuse Elias in Iorvet's presence. Or kill Succubus. Witcher. Well now I'm really confused. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to accuse Elias in Yarvet's presence? If the man is here and it doesn't leave. Yarvet stays where he is. Yarvet asks for proof. Which I don't have. Oh, 
I will go collect my reward from Cecil now for the various things and then see if uh, if Elias moves or something. Oh, you have grand, grand, grand place, Cecil. Sorry to uh, sorry to wake you up, but. Were you looking to get rid of the harpies? Aye, the flying rot. I've destroyed their nests. They won't be returning anytime soon. That's what I want to hear. You deserve a reward. Job done. I'm here for my pay. You killed the Harpy Queen. In that case, you've earned your coin. Thank you. What else? Baltimore's Nightmare. Right. Find Baltimore's house. I think it's this one. With uh, stairs there. Alright, and there was that. Uh, what I thought that maybe this Thorak fellow is behind it. Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Who was Master Baltimore? He was our runesmith, the greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down the pond tar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. How did he vanish? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his fears, even paranoia. But that comes natural with great artists. Thought someone was out to kill him. Then he vanished without a trace in mysterious circumstances. After a month long search, we held a funeral without his body to honor the memory of the great master. Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice became the new runesmith and life goes on. Do you live here now? Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house, along with the honor of continuing the great master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs. Hmm. Yeah, in uh, in Baltimore's nightmare, I saw a Wraith chasing, chasing Baltimore. So let's take a look. Mushroom. Iron ore. Baltimore's key, Baltimore's directions. Uh, I know this already. It was the it was the stones. It was the stones. Let's look at Baltimore's directions. Start looking at the well where loud echoes dwell. Take ten paces towards the river. Walk left and do not shiver. Meager two tens of paces past the gate in my good graces. The one that our safety keeps, 
go where the crossroads pattern sleeps. Every road you need to take, yet the middle one is safe. Heed and look for ingrand signs, and you'll follow my designs. Should you choose to go right, you'll soon see someone in plight. At noon, this drowned soul points its shadow at your goal. Hmm. Well, that's awfully complicated clues. But what is what is that chest I already found? Ingrand signs. Looking at the well. Past the gate. The crossroads. Ah, the crossroads patron. That's the. Right. Okay. Yes, yes. I think this is it. The crossroads patron. That's the shrine at the road. At noon. Hmm. Let's see. I think that's pretty clear. But uh, that's uh, at noon. That's an interesting part in it. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? Hmm. I found this. I can't read it. That's Elder speech, right? Correct. The text describes how to get to a certain place. What place? Don't know. The clues mark out a route of some sort. Could be where Baltimore hid his notes. Please, come to me if you find anything. It's very important. I will. The notes, notes were uh, a bit overly complicated on uh, getting out of town. At least I think so. This is the town well or something. Do I have any other quests here now? No, not really. I'm not going to Philip Eilhart because I think the main quest will take a take a notch forward from there because I have everything I need. Apart from the royal blood and I think that'll just take care of itself. Okay, so let's see if, uh, if those stones actually were, were the ones, the ones I, uh, I talked about. When we come here, there's the patron of the crossroads. Oh, no, no, it's actually not. We first have to go through the burnt village where the succubus is. She can uh, stay there. Uh, bless Whoa, what is this? Raids are coming from Wonder how many more will turn The raids are coming through the mist. Crossroads. Middle one is the safe one. 